Great question. And this is one we get all the time in clinic because I think, you know, people usually go to the internet a lot of times first to look for treatments for their injuries. And there's a bunch of di uh, you know, different information on there about the injection. So I think uh, injections can, can sort of be really helpful for symptom control. And so whenever we talk about rehabbing sports injuries, we can talk about, you know, can we improve the structure or can we improve the symptoms? Most of the injections that we have available are geared toward improving a patient's symptoms, which usually is improving pain, allowing them to return to some level of function. The biggest categories are steroid injections, uh, which are probably most common. They're approved. They're usually covered by insurance. They are great for treating inflammation. Uh, they're not usually permanent solutions, so they are sort of a temporary way to improve pain uh, and hopefully get back to a, a, a level of activity. The, there's another component, which we sometimes people will call it the, the uh, gel shot, or they used to be called the, the chicken shot because they were made from a compound in, in rooster comb, actually, but now they're all synthetic. They're more of like lubricant for the joints, and so the thought behind them is that they sort of provide some lubrication in those who might have arthritis, and we really only use those for people with arthritis. The third component is a really broad component, and I could probably talk for a couple hours just on, on this part of it, but there, there, there's a term out there called orthobiologics, which is where we take uh, some sort of tissue, whether it's blood or um, fat tissue from somebody, and we don't modify it too much at all, and then we inject it back at the site of pain or injury, with the thought being that there are some healing factors there that we're trying to take advantage of or potentially improve inflammation and improve function.